Now, if you're looking forward to NVIDIA releasing the RTX 60 series video cards, you could be waiting a while. Before I get into this, you can help me out. It is completely free by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment down below. So leaks suggest that NVIDIA will use the Rubin architecture for its RTX 60 series graphics cards. These GPUs will use GR20X dies. NVIDIA plans to launch this lineup in the second half of 2027. Yep the second half of 2027. Now, the reason why this is being pushed out so far into the second half of 2027, and I think it might get pushed even further than that, it's AI data centers. They're buying up everything they can. And the Rubin architecture actually is being used right now in AI data centers. Now, this Rubin architecture is actually data center architecture. So NVIDIA is going, okay, well, maybe we can use this for gaming. And this is exactly what their plan is to repurpose this data center architecture. So the Rubin CPX accelerator card contains unused graphics blocks. And this indicates the architecture does indeed support 3D rendering. Rubin provides apparently a 30% performance increase over the Blackwell based on cores alone. So while having 30% more cores is very, very impressive, it uses a three nanometer manufacturing process by TSMC. This node change offers raw performance gains that the RTX 50 series lacked. So in theory, this could be a super unbelievable, crazy expensive. Can you imagine how much, like for example, a 6080? Don't even talk about a 6090 or whatever they're going to number these cards as. But yeah, it's going to cost a small fortune. And this is important to note, apparently. The RTX 60 series will prioritize neural rendering over raw rasterization. Rubin is five times faster than Blackwell in AI workloads. Now, of course, that's AI workloads and not gaming. This speed benefits future DLSS versions. And unless you've been living under a rock, you know that DLSS 4.5 has been released and it is quite, quite impressive. I can't say I like fake frames, but they're getting to a point now where you can hardly tell the difference. And who knows, in a few months or a year from now, visually, Humans, you might not even be able to tell the difference. Now, I honestly can't see NVIDIA releasing RTX 60 series gaming video cards until, I don't know about the second half of 2027, maybe the end of 2027, maybe even not until 2028. But even when they are released, can you even imagine how much they're going to cost like a year or two or three from now, given the current situation when it comes to gaming PC hardware.